Welcome to this video on creating a new channel in Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to do an update to previous videos that I've done because there's new functionality on there and we can just see what it looks like when you create a new channel in Teams. So what I need to do on the left hand side is go to Teams because I'm currently in chat and then I'm going to see the Teams that I have available and the channels that are available within them. So I'm going to just close that one down and I'm going to create a new channel in DS development services. So to do that, I'm going to go to the free dots. Remember in any of the Microsoft apps, free dots are going to give you more options. And when I click on that, I've got the opportunity to add a channel. So when I click on that one, I'm going to have to give my channel a name. It's giving me a bit of top tip here. Letters, numbers and spaces are allowed. So let's just pop in the new channel. I can put in a description to help people find. So what is it about? What are we using this channel for? Things like that. And then I'm going to choose a channel type. So there's a few different options that I can choose when I'm creating a brand new channel. And some of these changed recently as they updated how people outside of the organization can collaborate within Teams. If you're not quite sure there is a little eye, you can click on that and you can learn more about the channel types just in case you need a little bit more information. But just remember what usually happens with channels is anyone who has access to that team will generally have access to the channel if it's a standard channel. If you want to make it so it's a private channel, so only you as the owner and anyone else who you give specific access to that channel, you can make it private. I use private channels with my team members to host documents and conversations that are private about self about development and one-to-ones and tasks and things like that. So private channels are quite useful and you can you can decide who to give access to. And then you've got this newer one called Shared. So if you want people or teams in your organization or outside of your organization to have access to that channel, but maybe not the rest of the team, then you can choose that channel type, which is quite useful. I'm going to go for a standard one right now and just create a channel so you can see what that looks like. And there's a little tick box there. So you can automatically show the channel in everyone's channel list. Remember when you're in Teams, you can hide channels. And so if you don't select that, someone might have all the channels hidden. They might not realize you've created a new one and you want to collaborate with them. So you can decide to tell the system to make sure it appears in their list. Obviously, they can go in and hide it if they want to, but it's a nice little bit of functionality. I'm going to click on Create at the bottom and it's just going to add my new channel in. And it will take a couple of seconds, but then you'll realize it's very similar to any other channel that you might see. If you click on the three dots, you've got all the different channel options to get the email address, edit the channel, um, pin the channel, hide it, manage it, things like that. But then if you look in the channel section at the top, you've obviously got the post part, which is normal. You've got files and you've also got notes. So one of the more recent updates, again, there is a quick note added to every new channel in Teams. And that was updated recently. So that will create a quick note, a uh, one note, sorry. So you can go in there and you can collaborate. But obviously you can get rid of that if you don't want to have it. Um, you've got a drop down arrow there. You can remove it. You can rename it, all the things that you would usually do with apps in your channel. And you can obviously add more tabs, more apps, more documents, whatever you want to do to make your channel work well for you. So that, that's just a quick one showing you what it looks like now to add a channel with some new updated bits of functionality. Give that one a go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the rest of the videos. There's tons of options on there for you to learn a little bit about all the Microsoft apps and a few more different ones as well. And there'll be more coming as we go. And let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.